Hello, and welcome to the Dark Cloud Digital Compendium. My name is Hidden Castle, and I'll be your guide. Join us, as this is a very special video, as we will be discussing a particular character in Dark Cloud that was once intended to be playable, but cut all too soon. That character is Seda. In this video, you will learn the reason why Seda was removed from the game and how dedicated fans found him playable in the game's files. With that being said, let us begin. Throughout a game's development, many features are planned and considered only to be removed from the finished product. Dark Cloud's development is no different, as Sony were consistently monitoring the production of the title with the hopes of it becoming a Japanese launch title for the upcoming PlayStation 2. To meet this due date, many aspects of Dark Cloud were revised to become more streamlined in order to speed up development. This included gameplay features such as Georama, which became much more streamlined. If you remember the footage that was shown in Tokyo Game Show 1999, footage was shown of a much more robust Georama system. For example, you would have been able to create much more complex landmasses within the early version of the Georama. However, the Georama system that was seen in the final game only features two landmasses that could have been placed. Online gameplay was once a feature that was planned to be a part of Dark Cloud, as players would have been able to visit each other's villages, as seen in this clip. Create not only the environment that you explore, but the characters that you, you meet as well. And ultimately, in a broadband world, the people that you meet will be real. As well as an ambitious playable character being removed in favor for a more simpler option, a more simple character. Dark Cloud is a niche video game, and for a while, there was not a lot of information regarding the game's development. However, in 2017, an individual by the name of Side made a surprising discovery. An unused character portrait for Seda that was found in the game's files, in a character folder, along with a character description. Interestingly, the files refer to Side, which was Seda's beta name during development, which can even be seen in promotional material, such as Dark Cloud's trading cards. The character profile that was found in the game's files states, Side, a mysterious warrior with a magic sword. He has an extreme appreciation for the god of magic. This was an amazing discovery and conclusive evidence that Seda was once intended to be a playable character, but we would only learn more within the coming years. Throughout the years, I have been trying to get in contact with developers who worked on Dark Cloud. In 2018, I was able to interview some staff who wished to remain anonymous. I asked them questions regarding Dark Cloud's development, very specific questions that don't often come up in new Level 5 interviews. If you're wondering about these interviews that I conducted, the two interview videos can be found in our YouTube channel. Feel free to check it out. One of our sources noted that Seda was removed from the game when it was about halfway complete because his gameplay would have been more ambitious than the other characters and was not able to be completed in time. Seda's gameplay would have utilized both spells and swordplay. They went on to note that a majority of the work done for Seda was conceptual. An idea that was discussed by the team for Seda was to have spells that would benefit the player, such as buffs like speed and stamina, or debuffs like poison and sliming enemies. Sony wanted Level 5 to finish Dark Cloud's production as soon as possible to meet the Japanese launch of the PlayStation 2. This meant that a character with a more complicated playstyle like Seda had to be removed. The team opted to replace him with a more simple character that could be completed within the time allotted by Sony. That character ended up being Osmond, a character who had less animations to create, a far more simple character overall. 
This was done because Sony wanted the game's development to be more focused and streamlined with the hopes of it meeting the Japanese launch of the PlayStation 2. This sounded very interesting as Seda's gameplay seemed to resemble Monica's from Dark Cloud 2, Dark Chronicle, only with a twist. While creating this YouTube channel, I did a lot of research for Dark Cloud Lost Media and that was when I found this treasure. This lost Dark Cloud Japanese character trailer. Take a look. What was interesting about this footage, as brief as it was, it gave us a glimpse of Seda as a playable character. A glimpse of what could have been. We can see footage of Seda in Divine Beast Cave with a rough walk cycle and Seda in the middle of casting a spell. This was a big find because it finally gave us video proof that Seda was indeed playable during development and even showcased Seda's spell mechanic, which was also scrapped. What's interesting is that this spell animation doesn't appear anywhere else in the game. When I asked our source about this footage, they said it was before Sony made Level 5 streamline their development, which ultimately led to Seda being cut. When you look at the evidence that we gathered throughout the years, Seda's unused character icons and the character description being discovered in the game's files, the interviews that I conducted with Level 5 staff, which described Seda's gameplay, as well as the footage of Seda being playable, what more could there be left? Well, much to everyone's amazement, in 2020, a talented individual by the name of Word of Wind actually discovered a playable Seda in the game's files. When I asked Wind how he came across this discovery, here's what he had to say. Seda's character file was already found prior to my modding. Before my testing, he was known to have a file of his own in the folder with the other playable characters. At that time, only the model was known to be there. How I made him playable is a unique story. A few months before the discovery, I started messing with the cheat engine to search for various values within the game. How to change gold or attack for example. It was only a bit later that I realized the program could be used to perform certain events and functions that a regular player would never be able to. Long story short, after a lot of experimenting, I found values that would determine which character file in the game would load in the dungeon when switching an ally. The values listed the characters from Tone to Osmond. At that point, I remember that there's also supposed to be a file called C07A, which would have been Seda's file. Out of curiosity, I replaced one of the allies with that file, and just like that, it worked. When I asked Wind what were the challenges with making Seda playable again, he said Seda did not look normal as he seemed to only have his shadow model but no textures. I found a config file which has a script to load the models, animations, and all those things. I've noticed that for some reason the script didn't include loading Seda's textures. With Deyuppi's help, we managed to edit the config file 
and add the texture load. Unfortunately, it didn't work the first few times as SATA would glitch out. Our challenge was to somehow figure out what caused the config file not to work. A few days later, I experimented more with the config file by editing it with a hex editor so that it would perfectly keep the same side. And that was all we needed, and we were even able to move him around. Absolutely amazing. Note that the sword that playable Seda uses in-game actually matches the old Dark Cloud trailer that I found, meaning that they are one and the same. His sword in the final game is actually different. The developers that I spoke to said that Seda's spells were only in concept and never got off of paper, but we can clearly see Seda casting a spell, so who knows? Maybe we can find a way to enable that endgame as well. And there we have it. This discovery is honestly mind-blowing, as it goes to show that when a dedicated community comes together, anything can happen. We can finally lay this mystery to rest. Many thanks to Side, Console Dev, Word of Wind, Dayuppie, as well as Glitched, and Mike Sword. Many thanks to Rawgru, who helped with the video's thumbnail. After 20 long years, we finally solved the mystery of Dark Cloud's deleted playable character. Thank you for visiting the Dark Cloud Compendium. I hope you have a great day. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing to stay up to date with the latest Dark Cloud content. The Dark Cloud Digital Compendium is a YouTube channel that's home to an exclusive video library with videos that focus on Dark Cloud's beta and cut content. Our Dark Cloud Japanese to English translation videos like our Dark Cloud 2 Canon prequel translation as well as videos on Dark Cloud debug menus and so much more. The purpose of the Dark Cloud Compendium is to provide fans with a channel that focuses on our favorite Giorama RPG series.